What you're looking at here is the Casita model 85 bill counter. Uh, this particular model is designed to be used wherever money is handled on a daily basis. Um, while it's not the most portable machine in the world, it does have a handle on the top that allows you to pick it up and move it around. Um, and this particular model is comes with pretty much everything that you'll find in a high-end bill counter. Uh, this includes the ability to detect the density of a bill. Uh, it's got an addition button which will allow you to put in bills, add more and add more, and it'll just keep adding the, the total amount. It has the ability to detect uh, the size of the bill. Uh, UV detection, which is ultraviolet scanning, and magnetic detection, uh, which detects the magnetic properties of ink, uh, which is extremely nice. It has three speeds that can be selected by the, selecting the speed button here. You've got your start button right here and your clear button right here. Now this particular model actually has a dust extraction system. Um, a lot of money has dust on it. Uh, and if you have allergies or if you're just very sensitive to dust, it, that's a very nice feature to have. So now what I'm going to do is turn on the bill counter and just kind of show you a few of the features. Um, you'll notice it has a digital display up here and one down here. This one right here will tell you the total amount of bills this one up here is actually for batch counting purposes. Uh, this particular tray holds a total of 500 bills. That's new bills. Now, if you're counting used bills, you usually can cut that amount in half, so about 250 used bills. Uh, one thing that you should be aware of is that this counts the total amount of bills. It doesn't actually sort them. So, so I'm just going to throw these bills in right now and show you how it counts. Now, I've counted 22 bills. Now, if I want to continue adding that, let's say I put the same stack of 22 in again and I want that to be 44 and just have to keep adding, I just hit the add button and that will actually keep adding the bills up. So, I counted 22. I'll put that same amount in again. We now have 44. So, it's just adding those up for me. 66. So it'll just keep adding those up and then I can just clear those out. Uh, batch counting is extremely easy to set up on this machine. Uh, you just specify the number that you want to batch count right here. So let's say you only want to do five bills at a time. It's got the batch counting right there set at five and if I throw these bills in, it will count five. Five bills, you pull them out. Another five. Another five. It's that easy. Okay, so let's set that to zero. Now I do have some bank, just paper bank notes that I'm going to throw in here. I'm just going to throw one in here and I'm going to turn on the counterfeit detection. And once it detects that paper bank note, it will actually stop and beep at me. So it's telling me this is not a legitimate bill and you notice how it stopped. Continue. Now this uh, machine is extremely fast, it has three speeds, speed one, speed two, speed three. And when you've got that turned up all the way, it is very fast. So far I've just been running it at speed one, but let's try this out at speed three. Casit is well known for their quality, uh, the accuracy of their products. You'll notice every time we counted 22 bills, it said 22 bills. Um, I've never had a problem with this particular machine as far as the accuracy is concerned. And the build quality of Casita machines is very, very high. It's exceptional. And uh, this particular machine should easily hold up for several years.